Will, how metal is your mama? Very metal. We're about to get into some serious metal this week, hopefully. hopefully. This episode, we want to get into some metal, some metallurgy. We want to learn about making weapons, yep. breaking down, I guess, bone into ash. We need that for soap too, but that's part of the metallurgy process as well, right? And we're, it's fat that we need for we soap. We need fat yeah, for yeah. soap. That's what but, I was thinking of. Clearly, I made a living <laughs> with my hands previous to working for PC Gamer. I did yeah. put a roof on a house once. Kind of different skills from making metal awesome. or... But it's a craft. Or killing animals and, yeah. and using their body parts for, for soap. For industry. Anyway, we should probably play some Door Fortress. I've kind of just been bouncing around here. Yeah. Uh, last time we were playing, I think Ashtesh was... Kind of getting getting out of the the woods mm -hmm. in terms of his medical condition, he's yeah. doing all right here. Health. Look at his health. He still has some grasping problems. He's it's, still got one infection. He's got an infection, but in his left wrist, he's got everything else has been fixed, and this has been sutured. So he's he's getting there. Yeah, good. So he, he he needs both wrists to to play drums in his uh, his heavy metal band. In his heavy so, metal band. Um, hopefully, hopefully that'll heal up. In the meantime, we can look down here at the double the base, latest. Maybe. I guess part of the the fortress I made that has a smelter, the smelter, the ashery, um, the craft horseman's workshop, and our metal smith right yeah. here. Yeah. What what else is over by um, the the smelt or not the smelter the um ashery what's up in the top there oh that's our soap maker's, soap maker's workshop. workshop okay the other thing we're going to want is a, a wood furnace a wood burning furnace okay um and i would say it'd be good to have it either near um the wood stockpile we already have which right. you're looking at um or just we'll give it its own wood stockpile Let's let's build it near here. I kind of yeah. want to like dig this area out a little yeah. bit more. So I need to go designate. And dwarves can move diagonally, so you can always ah, um, good to know. Cut that little corner there. I'm just gonna dig out. Whole. Damn. Extra room here. It's a lot of extra space, so we can put lots of wood in there. West goes for the the bazooka style of um, of mining. None of this, none of this careful plotting yeah. of how pretty a room should look or how clever the layout of my fortress should be. It's just brute force. Dwarves need space, and you're giving them space. Dig a big square go. hole, big rectangular hole. Do some mining. So cool. So while that's happening, let's um let's get a wood furnace built. Oh, I guess it's gonna go in there. So let's, we've got a smelter. Let's designate some um, Do I need to construct piles. anything before we can place the furnace? No, you'll so, just, okay. they'll build it from scratch. Um, we could do some stockpiles around our metal. Um, Down here? Yeah. Yeah, that could, that is definitely yeah. would be useful. Now our stockpiles, dwarves can like walk over them. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. So it kind of would make sense to just put it here in this lobby area. Yeah, I mean, well, you're gonna have different different uh, stages of production for different objects. So uh, um, I see what you mean. You know, like around. So we want like raw stuff near the smelter. Right, but the other thing you're gonna have is uh, fuel. So you want fuel maybe near the smelter, raw stuff near the smelter. Maybe some of both of those could go in that middle section. Maybe mm. that middle section could be for all your raw materials. Um, and then your your finished bars, your bars of metal, can go around um, the, the metal smiths over yeah. here. Um, also, if you're going to be making metal crafts, um, you could put some, you know, if you're going to do gold, if we're going to smelt gold or silver, or, you know, platinum or something like that, um, more decorative metals. The silver is great for certain weapons because it's very heavy, but uh, more decorative metals, we could put a stockpile around the, um, the crafts, the craftsmen. All right, well, um, I'm thinking, so I need to go into, no, not Z. Uh, I need to go to zones, right? It's been a while since we've made a um, zone. <laughs> a zone, yeah. 
a zone. What about a pizone? A pizone. So I for an I zone. So I'm gonna do raw materials first. I think I'm just gonna do this whole area. Sweet. And set that to. It's not garbage. Oh, it's, no. it's not a zone. It's not a zone. All. It's not a zone at all. You fucked me, Will. <laughs> I'm so just letting you learn. It's, is it I'm designations? Yes. No. 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 Oh, what is it? Stockpiles. Stockpiles. That's it. P for stockpiles. F for stone. Mm -hmm. And then once you place it, you'll want to set the specifics. Right. I'm actually going to do like half this area. Okay. And then how do I go into? Okay, hit enter to select. So then Q. No. Uh, and then use the Q menu to go to stockpile. Bum, ba, da, da. Change settings. So we've got stone on. So for this, we'll want our metal ores. All of them. Um, yep. Uh, we won't want other stone or clay. Um, and I'm trying to think if there are some economic stones we might want. Go, let's see what the... Uh, so do uh, forbid an F. Yeah, F there you go. Forbid. So look at economic stone again. Let's see what we got in there. Chalk, marble, bituminous coal. So that we definitely want. Um, I, I would leave them. Um, if we're going to be making steel, we need flux stone, which is, uh, is that under certain type. No, it's, it's, it's some of those are flux stone, some of the uh, economic stones. We can leave them on. I mean, these can be yeah. drawn to any of these workshops. Yeah, so that's so, fine. Uh, fuel also. Yeah. So let's do another stockpile, P. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and set the whole area here and then hit escape and then hit Q to select it and change settings. Now, where is fuel? So fuel, there's different under. types of fuel. So it, I think it might actually be under stone because um, your fuel know. is going to be Coke. Um, Coca-Cola. Have you ever seen it? Coke and charcoal are the two. Coke and charcoal. Yeah. Um, are those under there? They, they might not be under there. They might be under bars and blocks. I see chalk, but no charcoal. Yeah, so it's under bars and blocks then. All right, so I'm going to disable stone, yeah. bars and blocks, enable that. OK, so you don't, don't want, want metal, metal bars. No. Oh, wait. Wrong, wrong button. <laughs> F for forbid. Too many, too many ah. layers of things to forbid. So, so we definitely so we want, want coal, coal here. and then um, charcoal might actually count as coal in this case. But um, oops, you use enter for those. God, it's yeah. <laughs> why does it change between these two menus? Why is it F and E? Yep, that's dumb. So cool. So just coal, I guess. Yeah. Look through these other ones. Cool. Let's. We don't want any of that. Well, we don't. Those are all blocks. So yeah, you don't want any of that. So just coal. So I guess charcoal falls under coal. I guess we'll find out also yeah. when people do or do not put it in the stockpiles. Uh, should I maybe make another stockpile for like finished bars or anything in this area? I mean, it's I, gonna be a while before we have them. I would put it around the. Um, it's nice to have a place to put everything though. So I would put it around the, the metal workshop. Actually, I'm going to do first, do another one here for the soap stuff. OK. Because definitely need that. Yeah. So again. So you, you're probably not going to make that much soap. You'll probably make a couple bars. But they need but... somewhere to put it. Yeah. Yeah, just so all that gonna... stuff you can move up ash too you can leave there should i leave the coal on too no keep yeah, the coal turn on the coal off you gotta, you put the rest there for it. yeah all right uh so the other thing you were saying is uh metal bars oh um, right yeah but i would do it around the oh so they don't have to move it twice around the metal over here smithy metal smithy so p for stockpiles bam also, if, yes. if we're getting a lot of idlers, something that, you know, I always put off, but that you can 
actually set to be done is just put a stockpile for general stone somewhere, you know, a big room or something, and um, you know, just have one person with the ability to move stones, and that person will just in the background be moving uh, stone bit by bit out of your fortress. Because right now it's it's cluttered with uh, just raw stone here and there. This will help a little bit because all of our um, economic and ore stones will, will be organized. But I mean, I feel like so yeah. far having that raw stone around has actually been, it's been beneficial yeah. because when we want to build something, it's like, oh, there's a rock it's right there. Right there. Yeah. They don't and, have to go, we'll, go grab it anywhere. And that's good in the beginning, but eventually, you know, it oh, just what's gets this cluttering. guy doing? What's oh, going on here? That's right. We got, didn't we get some animals? Yeah, but they are already stored, I think. Well, you can look at him with uh, with V. Oh, that's right. K doesn't. Yeah. Oh. It's on him. So if you go to a general, a oh, store item and stockpile. So yeah, that's what he's doing. All right. Yeah. Just thought maybe somebody was trying to sneak into our fortress <laughs> with a cage trap. He's somebody sneaking well, they in with. Things. They could have gotten yeah. trapped. It's true. I didn't mean the trap was trying to sneak in. <laughs> Come on, I'm not stupid. Mm -hmm. We, oh, so I remember at the, the end of the last session, we had some guys up here drinking water mm -hmm. way outside the, the fortress. And we kind of thought maybe we needed to be producing more, more beer. Oh, right. I feel they like might that, be out of... that may have been... Yeah. Brew drink from plant. So I think that we might have turned off our brewer. Hmm. Um, let me open up my little cheat sheet here. Yeah, who is our brewer? Was it That's Ashtash? A really good question. It might be As Ashtash. Um, I will know in two seconds. Our brewer was Kavish. We might be busy mining right now. You could. Kavish um, is storing stuff right now. Okay. But. Um, Catton's not doing anything. I mean, you could give Catton uh, brewery skills also. Just let me. Or you could make Kavish not store stuff. I'm messing up. I'm hitting the wrong buttons. It's uh, B for. B shows labor, it's P for preferences, that's it. Nice. L for labor. Wes is learning. I mean, I've done this one enough. Jesus. <laughs> Gone through these menus. So you're taking off hauling for? Uh, I was just going to make sure he still had brewing on. Oh, uh, farming. Farming, farming related. related. Yep, okay, cool. Still, still brewing. But mm -hmm. Then he'll get to it, hopefully. Nice. I feel like we've done a lot of turning off hauling on people to the point yeah. where there's probably not a lot of hauling happening. Yeah, see if it's turned off on Catton, because I think he's still the the jobless person. Oh no, he's giving water. He's Kivish, Kivish has no job, that's bullshit. Yes. See if it's still Kivish. Yeah, maybe Kivish has that turned off. Did you mine out everything you wanted to mine? Well, I just told Kivish to brew. I mean, I just oh, made yeah. sure he said brewing on. She had brewing on. So Could maybe we don't have an extractor. Yeah. Maybe just cancel those, see if that works. Dun, 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 dun. Idle went to zero for a sec. There we go. Sweet. Now who's idle? Brewing. Let's check it out. Check, check it. Oh. Catton and Sibrek. Surprise, Sibrek's not on break. <laughs> Cool. Let's see. Yeah. So that happens. That okay. happened. Um, so we can do a wood I can, furnace. I can expand my storage here with this. Oops, I zoomed out. Yeah. Can, let's see. Well, you also want to build that uh, wood burner. Ah, uh, that's so right. To figure out where yeah, that's going to go. Yeah, let's go ahead and build that. Uh, that's it's under furnaces, furnaces, right? Yeah. E and w. wood furnace. that you can use the granite that's right sure. there and I'm gonna now expand that stockpile to let's see P stockpiles okay, 
why is this menu different? Is it because I have a stock file selected? And now confusing myself. Oh, and I turned off the menu. There we go. <laughs> stock file. Settings. We want this to be no animals. It's not stone. Wood. Just plain old wood. Cool. That should keep us both busy for a minute. Bam. Yeah. He's building that. So go down to your um, your new floor. Has anybody? Started to move any materials in. Look at look at the stones that are there with K. Um, the ones in the middle. So sapphorite, um, tetrahydrite, mica. So tetrahydrite is definitely an ore. Um, that's a it's a copper and silver mixed in one stone. So you didn't look that um, up on the internet, did you? No, 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 no. I've got I've got encyclopedic memory for everything Gork Fortress, as I'm sure you can tell by now. <laughs> oh, I just um, thought you knew a lot about oars. I do. I actually was a great rower back in the day. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Let's... That wasn't technically a metal joke, but it was an oar joke, so <laughs> I feel pretty good. Uh, the best kind of joke, the oar mm -hmm. joke. The oar joke. So I don't think we've actually found any coal. Oh, you, um, probably not. Can we look at our resources? Yeah, hit hit Z. Stone. Z stone. That actually should tell us uh, not what stone we have, but what stone is allowed for different things. Um, so what you actually wanted to go into is stocks, I think. Let's see. We're and then stone should be... Stone should be its own category somewhere on the left. Stones. Cool. And then if you select that, possibly with tab? Nope, that didn't do anything. Okay. Um, oh, there we go. No, that's... No, that's gems. Okay, well, we've got some stones. <laughs> I feel like hmm. I, I know a cheating way of doing it. I mean, you could set a building to be built and it'll give you a list of everything you could possibly make the building out of. But that's kind of a, <laughs> you know. Yeah, maybe do a workshop. And then. Really a millstone. Well, a no. millstone actually needs a millstone. Damn it. Um, yeah. So, okay, so now we can see. Oh, that's right, you made some blocks. So we don't have coal. Well, unless unless that's set to be not. Um, Is there any other way to know coal? if we have coal? And I definitely don't remember seeing any. And we would have gotten an announcement at some point. One thing you could do is you could go, um, and I usually do this just for fun. I just look around at the map and see what different walls are made out of. Um, it'll give you an announcement when you have a new um, exciting thing. Right. Can but we search through these? So we've got tetrahydrite, we've got microlene, we've got mica. Um, they all show up yellow, which is convenient. Yeah. Um, So like I said, tetrahydrate's an ore of um, both copper and of silver. Um, so that's good to have. But it looks like that's the only... I mean, that wasn't the entire history of our yeah. fortress. That was relatively recent, but still not sure that we have any coal. So is the only way to find it just to go digging for it, basically? Yeah, yeah. Um, sometimes there can be some on the surface, and that won't necessarily generate a message. Um, so if you go up to the surface, we can look there too. I think most of our surface um, walls are, uh, they would do it without that though. Um, like 
hit escape so you'll sure. be able to move around more. And then if you see, so part of the problem is I know the symbols for uh, when it's you ASCII. Know what the graphics mod looks um, like. So I don't know what the graphics mod looks like, but it'll be something. Those are just boulders. Or Are you sure it's a boulder? I'm not sure, apparently. So you won't see it on this surface, but on the walls. So in the wall on the uh, left or right side. And oh, it'll be a different symbol. This. So those are clay loam. All clay loam. Yeah. Let's maybe just start some digging. Yeah. You know that crazy? Yeah, we could dig like a, we're should, gonna dig deep mine shaft. Should we think about digging towards a water source? Eventually, I we're gonna have to be clever about that. I think right. that's gonna have to be its own uh, episode. What I would do is go kind of, what is, wait, go back up to the surface um, and scroll down a little bit. Okay, go one underground and scroll back up a little bit. Hmm. I thought I saw. What did you see? I saw some other kind of stone or something. Um, yeah, what is what is this stuff over here? Like these gray ones. I like. Oh, sapphorite. Sapphorite. No luck. Which is um, which is an ore of zinc, which we can use to make crafts. Once so that's again, cool. Full of. Or knowledge. Yeah. Super full. So what I would do if you're going to start a mine shaft, mm -hmm. um, depending on your plans, how deep you want to go, sure. I would dig it off of an existing room. Um, not on the main not shaft. Not on the main shaft, uh, because you never know what you're going to break down into, like an underground cavern, something like that. Gotcha. So dig it off of the main room, maybe off of from like where the kitchens and bedrooms are. Um, and put a uh, hallway, um, so that we can put traps like on a it trap, or something. Yeah, exactly. So okay. you won't be digging straight down from gotcha. the fort. The other nice thing that this will do is um, digging generates noise. Noise can disturb sleeping dwarves. So um, really? having the mine shaft a little bit away. Well, you know, I'm gonna go down one more layer yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, because you know you're gonna want to do that anyway. Um, now you why? just want you just want to hit it again, enter on it. Yeah. I did, and it went away. What? Which confused me. Double huh. enter is supposed to um, go down a level and then do it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Cool. Right, because you're probably going to want to dig deeper here anyway, because you're going to want to do some some yeah, more. Yeah, our fortress doesn't remember. really go that yeah that deep. Yeah. Here, make sure one of your... Now, do I... Are you sure I don't need a hole right here or anything? I don't think so. Yeah, see, it's not... It's not selecting oh. it, so... Somebody nope. should come down. See what your miners are doing. That'd be Kavish and Iral. Oh, well, Kavish is probably brewing or something. Yeah, and Iral is storing. Uh, Kavish is storing also. Yeah. Well, in the meantime, why don't we start building contraptions and cages for that those yeah. extra traps that Sounds we're going to need. So let's see, I need to go to the mechanics workshop and make a bunch of mechanisms. Yeah, and you don't, we don't need to go as crazy for this hallway really soon because um, you're not going to be digging down like 40 layers just yet or anything like that. Um, and then we need, do we make stone cages? Uh, wood cages. Wood cages. Yeah. Wooden cage J. Is that all we need? The cage and the contraption? Yep. Mechanism. Okay. Mechanism. A mechanism is a type of uh, contraption, I'd say. Thank you for correcting me. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime wouldn't, you need correcting, I'll be wouldn't there. Wouldn't want to confuse people. Oh, we got some pink tourmaline, so that's cool. That's a gem. Exactly what I always wanted. And did wanted. it say tetrahydrate also? 
before the, the hit A. Keep hitting the wrong thing. Yeah, uh, so more tetrahydrate, yeah. so that's cool. Is it? Yeah, because we can we can make copper um, stuff. It won't be as exciting as, you know, other metals. Just making rooms, making rooms. Hell yeah, making rooms. And you're going all out. There were some gems there, so that's cool. Well, hopefully there'll be a little vein. Yeah, our entire industry so far has been based on uh, the gems we found. It's almost as if we set our world to be rich with natural resources. <laughs> yeah. But the fact that we haven't gotten... Okay, so what is that? See what, see what that uh, stuff is that he's cutting out. Mica, sweet. We have mica already, though. Yeah. Fool's gold. <laughs> I guess mica is not fool's gold, but it's shiny, much like fool's gold. Digging, digging, digging. See, is anybody? Nobody's down here making traps. Oh, there we go. Get to work. Oh, Galena is great. Galena is uh, part lead, part silver, like 50%. Like each. the lead that is going to poison our dwarves? And... Yeah, they'll be fine. they will just make them a little crazy. As long as they don't eat it. Don't right? eat the paint chips. Somebody has just been... Is this Sibrek? <laughs> no, I love Katten. that you see someone just lazing about. I assume like, it's Sibrek. Wait a second. Uh, Catton hasn't moved from this spot, to my knowledge, in like a year. What's he... he I, we might have taken off some of his uh, his jobs when, when we set him as a military commander. Or militia commander. Oh, wrong... Uh, wrong page. So yeah. that's cool. Um, forget what I, I can't do it from there, can I? Yeah. V menu? You know, he's got stuff still engaged. He's got some kind of stone working is on. Yep, masonry. This is the part where all of our viewers say, why aren't you using dwarf therapist? Because we... we're too hardcore for that. Do you think we can use dwarf therapist in a way that isn't going to be obnoxious, like all I was, I was thinking about that. I mean, I... <laughs> One crazy way to do it is I could run an instance of our game on a separate laptop, and then I could just be looking at Dwarf Therapist huh. um, Interesting. without us having to flip back and forth. I mean, people might be interested in actually seeing what it looks like um, with alt-tabbing. I mean... A lot of people have mentioned it, so maybe yeah, it is worth... Yeah, it could worth, be fun to do. Maybe it's worth doing. Maybe we'll do a Dwarf Therapist episode. Once we start using it, I have a feeling we won't want to stop. Yeah. If it's as useful as, as everybody says. It's, it's nice. It's definitely nice. As someone who loves spreadsheets, I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. So you can sort in different ways. <laughs> I like sorting. Sorting's good. I feel like I probably have an exceptionally ugly fortress. I don't know. They probably get pretty bad. Look at this. One one this thing that's a, interesting about your fort right here. Um, that my very first fort I didn't do um, was uh, is yours is a very vertical fort. It is. Yeah. Um, you know this this floor obviously is less vertical, but um, my first floor uh, or my first floor my first fort only was one floor basically. I didn't even think about going up and down. So that's kind of nice to have um, use of the the Z axes. How much benefit do you think there there is to that, having a really vertical fort? Um, it's less distance for your dwarves to travel, you know, so they can just step down one Z level um, instead of having to go through an entire, you know, section of the fort or whatever. Um, 
I think it's very, very worthwhile. And especially if you reach a point where you've got two up and down shafts, it, it can be very um, useful. Want fewer bottlenecks. Fewer bottlenecks, yeah. Yeah, when I, when I was kind of visualizing the fort and thinking about building out, you know, bedrooms and all that kind of stuff, I was always kind of thinking, go spread out, spread out, because I want to like see all of it on one level. It's right. easier to comprehend. Autumn. Um, so, and, and your advice was, you kept saying like, build down another level, yeah. build down another level. Because then, then, you know, the dwarves can move from a central axis instead of having to, you know, go super far. So Autumn's here. That means we're going to have uh, the Dwarven Caravan come again soon. Woohoo! Um, we haven't produced anything new. We were hoping to have our metal industry up. Uh, we're trying. Which, you know, we're getting there. I would start burning some wood to get some charcoal. All right. Um, we're gonna have to set somebody as a um, make charcoal. Yeah. Repeat. Yeah, sure. And yeah, let's see who's. who's... We won't. We won't want to leave that untended. We'll want to check in on that. Otherwise, he'll just burn all of the wood. <laughs> um, so I would say. Ashdash is our carpenter. Unfortunately, he's still kind of out of commission. Yeah, I mean, you could do Catton. Yeah, let's do Catton since we just gave him all those. Uh, Hauling jobs. Yeah. He doesn't really need to be doing that. So is that under woodworking? Um, I think it's under farming, actually. It's not farming. No, it's, you know, you're burning stuff. Oh, he's got wood burning. Whoa. Because we made him our soaper. Look at that. Our super soaper. Do you remember super soakers? Can we yeah. talk about that for a second? I think we have a super soaker in this room, in fact. No way. On the shelf behind us, yeah. Super I see Soaker. A giant Nerf gun. Oh, behind it, hidden away. Super Soaker is owned by Nerf. That's just crazy. I don't yeah, know if they I, were always a Nerf brand. I don't brand. think they were. During the heyday of 90s kids' yeah. plastic toys, I guess. This Super Soaker is a crossbow. It's a crossbow that shoots water that, that out of the. That seems really um, inefficient for no, a thing that it shoots does. water. It shoots water out of the uh, center and then all, also out of the wings of the crossbow. So it shoots three streams. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that's kind of dumb. <laughs> hey, it's your uh, your super soaker. Not haven't mine. haven't done a lot of research, but that sounds pretty dumb. I don't know. Nerf sends stuff here occasionally. Yeah, we have a lot of awesome. Nerf gear. Yeah. Every once in a while, you'll be walking down the hall. Somebody will shoot you with a Nerf gun. Yeah. It can be kind of scarring, actually. Yeah. I have a lot of conversations with our HR, actually, about that. You have a Nerf problem. I have a Nerf problem. You are I'm a actually, Nerf problem. <laughs> I'm allergic to Nerf foam. Oh, yay, Sibrick organized a let's party. Let's have a party. Woo. I mean, let's be fair. We want our dwarves to be happy. This we is want a them to party, much but better time for a party than, than in the middle of when we had two critically yeah. wounded dwarves and our doctor emergency. was like, what if I had a party? And then what if I had another party immediately <laughs> after? Awesome. That wasn't as cool. Okay, so what's going on? We got... Well, Kivish abandoned mining to go party. Oh, really? Yeah. You wait. I mean, or take a nap, but... Yeah, let's see what's going on with our, with our jobs. Yeah, he's making some charcoal! Well, let's go... So we're going to want to yep. choose somebody else to be a smelter. And we're going to want to set... Uh, I wish Ashdash would get smelting. up. She wake up. Yeah. In fact, you could just go ahead and set the smelting job. Like, set it at the workshop. Wait, this isn't the smelter. This isn't the smelter! Down here? Yeah. Yeah. Add new task. So you are going to want to... Um, we have tetrahydrite, so... Should I just look at the stuff that's right here? Yeah, well, it'll be the stuff that's in the middle there, the top. So we have a lot of tetrahydrate. What's that uh, one light-colored ore? Oh, or one galena, that's right. So the tetrahydrite seems like the one to go with here. Yeah. So what you can do is make, if you actually scroll down in that list. So go on down. Um, There's tetrahydrite. Yeah, but keep going, keep going. So you can make... Um, ah. 
silver bars and copper bars. So if you keep going down, you should find it. Nickel silver? No, nickel silver will be, um, uh, I think it's an alloy. And I just so I guess it will be, it will be the um, tetrahydrate. And since he's not actually done making our charcoal, it's not gonna let us do it yet. Ah, uh, okay. So that's too bad. Well, we can watch the doors have a party. Yeah, let's watch him party with the ducks. Party with the ducks. Zoom all Actually, in. look at the ducks and the animals, because it should say, I, I keep calling them ducks. They're, they're geese. Or look at them with a V. Didn't actually. we make them a box? We did, we haven't done anything with it though. Um, so go to general. Okay, it should. Is wearing a necklace? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a weird graphical thing. <laughs> it should say that at least one or two of them are attending the party. So right, let's look around at them. Nope, is anybody attending the party? Sibrick is. I think Sibrick's the only one that's actually at the party. Dogs aren't partying. No. Did Sibrek Kivish throw, isn't even at the party. Did Sibrek throw a party for and nobody came? Yeah, that's that's what happened. What a leader. Like Kivish is literally standing there. But not partying. Not taking part in the party. That's, that's great. That's wonderful. Uh, should we do something with that nesting box? Didn't we build it? Did yeah. We put it yeah. down? We could. Um, Where's that nesting box? I think it's that weird thing. This thing? No, no, down in that second room. It looks like a red pear. I'm guessing. No, this was our weapon oh, rack. Oh, that's our weapon rack. Nice. Butcher shop. Yeah. Take it to the butcher shop. Did we not put it down? Yeah, we might not have actually assembled it. Yet. Uh, let's see. There it is. Capital N. Capital I'm going to help you with that one. Capital N. Yeah. I don't even see it on the list. Yeah. Nest box. Cool. So, yeah, you want to figure out where to put it. I would put it somewhere. In our little room. Like in a little room, because then we can. Um, so then we can close it, it up. So kind so of on a similar gonna... note, why don't we let out these animals the that animals. we bought? Yeah. Take them out of the cages. Yeah. I forget. How, I totally forget how to do that. Uh, pastures. Making a um, a zone for them, and you're going to want to make a zone for the the geese over the um, over the nesting box. Oh, okay. I'm going to do that first. Yeah. Oops. I for zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would do it over that whole little room, actually. Ah, okay. I... And they just know to use the nesting box? Yeah. They'll... When they're feeling eggy... Wait, is it a zone or is it a... No, this is right. Okay, um, T for animal training? No, N no. for... N for... for pen. Hen slash pasture. Yep. And then capital N to set capital it. Capital N to set it. And we want to put our... Goose? Um, yeah. And the gander, gander. the gander doesn't need to be there. No. So just the goose. Just the geese. What about the other? Yeah. Yeah. We actually have three geese. Do we? Yeah. There's another. Oh, I see under it. it. Yeah. Man, so many geese. Yeah, the way mating works in. Um... So that poor goat we bought has been in a cage for the past season. Yeah, but you know, I guess you want to season his meat. I guess they're feeding it or whatever. No, they're they're probably not actually. Um, so it's it'll be good to do what you're doing. And pasture, capital N, and stray billy goat down here. And bam. And then the other thing you should do is put the dog in one of the pastures. Um, I would not put in that one because that's just going to create a long task. Um, you could put him in the geese pasture or something and then just take him out of the pasture once he's in it. Um, and that'll release the dog. Drag that goat up here. Oh, oh. output liaison. Oh, the caravan has caravan arrived. Is coming. Okay, well, we didn't actually make any metal before the caravan came. We tried. But yeah, we're, we're, we we're getting We still have there. a bunch of gems and like yeah, traps and stuff. stuff that we can sell. Yeah. Cool. Let me put up another pasture for this dog really for the quick. Dwog. For the dog. I don't mind having him out, out here as a, a watchdog. Oops. 
That's a stockpile. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> Deleting it. Deleting stuff. All right. I and at some point we'll want to. Um, oh, you, yeah. At some point we'll want to actually make a animal training zone, and then uh, actually train our dogs. We should be the one in cage. Yeah. Attack dogs. Watch dogs. So I would say we should call it at that. Yeah, we've got. A caravan on its way. Yep, there Maybe comes. some new dwarves for our fortress next time. Yeah, that'd I'm... be exciting. Well, do more metal. I like usually when we announce that we're having an episode about something, it doesn't actually the, next, the next one. Here's our medical episode. It's not like we failed at metallurgy. We didn't. No, we didn't just, have. Coal. It's just getting started. Yeah, we did everything we needed so. to up to and that point. And at this point, we probably do have um, charcoal. So. That'll be exciting. Um, so we'll do some trading. We'll do some metal smithing. Get us some new dwarves. Hopefully some new dwarves will come. Some new labor. They've, all the dwarves have heard rumors of our, of our uh, fortress and they're like, fuck that, I'm going somewhere else. They got elves at their doorstep. Dude, this is they where got... the glory is. <laughs> we killed 10 elves. Was it 10? I think it, it was 30, actually. It was not 30. Are it was like serious? 150 elves. We took them all out. Let's not let this go to our heads now. Thousands of elven corpses lay strewn across the hills. Destroyed by a mere dozen cage traps. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out elves are kind of stupid. And one who actually got the kill. Do you remember? I can't remember if it was Astash. Or I know no in all. adventure mode you can actually look and see a kill list. I feel like it door. was Ash And we might be able to do that in this. We'll have to check that out yeah. next time too. See if we can figure it out. All right, next time on Dwarf Fortress, the fortress is going to grow. <laughs> <laughs>